Hello Internet, I'm Hazel and this is how I beat Tears in Fiero in the Garrison Pet Menagerie with two pets. This will let you get a bit of experience to a third pet, or if you're in a rush you can just squish this fight the old fashioned way with three good pets. For my first pet, I'm using Sid the Squid. He's a pretty new pet and a bit rough to get your hands on right now, but he is very, very good for this fight. I've got his moveset to Water Jet, Bubble, and Whirlpool. Second, I've got my Swamp Croaker with Water Jet, Croak, and Bubble. The Mud Jumper will get the same thing done, as will a Ruby Droplet. The key to making this easy is having both Bubble and an Aquatic type damage move. For your leveling pet, pick something with a good amount of health. I'd recommend at least a thousand. I'm bringing along a level 17 Zomstrok. The experience you get will be fine but not amazing, so if you're short on time and you just want your daily done, you can pop your favorite aquatic damage pet in last and mop this up quick. So make sure that you're, if you're leveling a pet you have it in your first slot and if you're not then just have your backup aquatic pet in your last slot. And let's go ahead. So first round with leveling pet we want to do the most useful, useful thing rather, the most useful thing we can. In this case it's Carpenado, it'll do a little bit of damage, I'm only level 17 so it's not a whole lot. And then on turn 2 we're going to switch to Sid the Squid, so Sid the Squid comes out. There's no way for you to avoid that pump so we may as well just set up our Whirlpool early, we're not faster than them. So we can't get Bubble out in time but our magic Rachel saves us and we can get Bubble out for the next turn and save ourselves from that next pump. So you bring out Sid, you Whirlpool, you Bubble and then you spam Water Jet, that is our plan. Whirlpool is about to hit him there, pretty good, pretty good. And he tries to heal himself, he gets a little bit of voice with it, this looks like it's going to take us like two more water jets, one more water jet. Bubble blocks the rest of that and there we go. So down goes Tears, Fiero comes out and we're going to want to put up a Whirlpool on him and then get as many water jets off as possible before we die. No big deal, um, I've tried switching back and forth between Sid to get the bubble cooldown back up but it's just not worth it. So there's a water jet. Pharaoh's big thing is that he likes to spam Cataclysm which is a Dragonkin type ability that does a bunch of damage but only has a 50% hit chance. So you can get lucky or unlucky. Once Sid dies bring out your froggy and then set up bubble immediately followed by as much water damage as you can. So note that if you're doing this with two pets and if you get just the worst luck in the whole world you can have it not work out quite the way you wanted to. I find like 7 times out of 10 or so I'd say it works. If you back this up with another aquatic pet or the leveling pet is aquatic you'll do just fine. In any case, there we go. And that's how I do it. Check out my channel for other pet battle videos, vlogs, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!